Ross Gerber, president and CEO, Gerber Kawasaki Wealth and Investment Management, joining us. Ross, I'm so glad you were available to discuss this this morning. You've been our Tesla bull for ever. It's up over 255 percent right. and it's up a thousand over a thousand bucks since yesterday when this stock split was announced right after the bell. Did you expect it? Do you love it? What are your concerns? Well, we were actually asking Tesla to to split the stock for for a couple reasons. So so we had reached out to the company and spoken to investors relations about the fact that when the stock is so high priced, it's so hard for smaller investors to buy shares. And despite many firms offering slices of shares, that's a very high cost way for investors to own shares. So this makes a lot of sense for Tesla for a lot of reasons. One, it it increases their shareholder base and it spreads their shares among more people easier. And two, that creates more stability for the stock longer term. And, and that also hurts short sellers' ability to get stock as well. So, you know, this is a great move for Tesla. It's also symbolic of basically everything going right for Tesla right now. So we've come a long way in a year and we're very, very bullish on Tesla. It's amazing because what we saw with Apple was the run up. It was it was below 400 bucks when the stock split four for one was announced. And it's been running up, you know, until that August 31st date when it actually really happens. Are you surprised to see Tesla running up now? It's up about 8 percent. How high do you think this can go ahead of the stock split, which is set for the end of the month? Well, you know, Tesla stock is obviously highly valued and for good reason. So, I, you know, I can't really tell you if the stock's going to go higher um, or not. Obviously, that's that would just be speculation. But I think that when you look at Tesla over the next two years and the fact that the Gigafactory in Berlin is moving along nicely and they've already started in Austin for the truck factory and another Gigafactory. And I think those will both be done in two years in producing vehicles. Tesla can more than double its size again and dominate the EV and energy industries over the next five years. So I think if you're a long-term investor, missing Tesla will be the greatest mistake you'll ever make. Wow, a lot of people said that about Amazon or Apple. Yeah, and, and Apple. So and and I rode Apple my, my whole career. You know, I'll, I'll be honest, You know, your previous guest was talking about something that we do at Gerber Kawasaki, which is concentrate on technology. There's no doubt after 27 years of investing, that if you're not invested in the best U.S. technology companies, you will never gain the kind of wealth that you have the potential to gain. So it, it, it stocks like Apple a decade ago, you know, Tim Cook has guided the company so successfully. And now we look at, at a company like Tesla just beginning its run. If you miss these companies, the Amazons, the Googles, the, the Teslas, you're never going to reach your financial goals. So, so I think we're seeing investors realize how few companies there are like Tesla, and that's why it has an extreme premium. So when you talk about how few companies there are like Tesla, EV is very hot, right? From, and, and I know they're not Tesla, but NEO, Nikola, just to name a few names that have been uh, of late, right? The names of late workhorse. These names have been, come up. Even today, we heard one analyst say that NEO could be the Tesla type of thing of China. Um, I, I know you think it's laughable, right? But what is it that you love about Tesla? What is Tesla going to do? Elon Musk with his genius vision. And that's why people love uh, people love Elon Musk. I'm not even sure if he weren't at the helm, if people would believe in Tesla the way they did. No, do, no. Do, what, yeah, Tesla, what model do you love? What is the genius behind Tesla going forward? Well, I think what this is really about, you know, and, and Elon talked about this long ago, it's the factory is the factory. You know, it's like, how many factories can we build that can produce EV batteries? The real thing about EVs and what I learned through all my time at Tesla was how difficult it is to scale battery production and, and do this reliably and then mass produce a car out of it. So I think all of the Tesla competitors, as much as I, I'm rooting for them and I, and I want EVs to be successful, none of them have been able to make their own batteries and none of them have been able to scale their batteries. And in the case of Nikola, they've got a whole nother system under using hydrogen, which I don't even think works very well when you have to build a whole new infrastructure. So right now, Tesla is the only horse in this race. And all the other players are, are niche players at best, like Neo. Neo makes a nice car, and, and, I, and maybe they can make money 
but can they make 500,000 or a million EVs? No, no chance. And so Tesla's on the road to a million cars a year in the next two years. And I don't think there's anybody that can do that, has the technology. And that's what it's really about. Elon is an engineer. In his heart, he is an engineer. And none of these other CEOs mm -hmm. are. So they just don't get how difficult this technology is to achieve. Right. And you've said that about Nikola before. Um, when yeah. you and I have chatted, you just didn't have a lot of faith in that company, at least not right now, for what they say they can what they say they can do. Here's my last question to you. Is Elon Musk flexing doing a five for one stock split instead of Tim Cook's four for one split? <laughs> No, I, I don't think it had anything to do with that. We recommended five for one because they had about 200 million shares outstanding. So that would bring them to a billion shares. It, it's a real nice number for, you know, being able to value the company easily by the, the stock price movements. Um, so I, I don't think mm -hmm. there was any relevance to competing with Tim Cook. What I really think it is, is Elon cares about his shareholders. He listens to his shareholders. He answers them on Twitter. And, and, and they were saying, and I was saying, the same thing, you know, make it easy for people to buy the stock. A lot of people don't have $1,500. They want to invest three, $400. We work with tons of small clients at my firm. That's what we do at Gerber Kawasaki is we help people build wealth and we want them to own Tesla. But when they can't even buy one share, it sucks. I mean, we have, I can't even tell you how many clients we have with like two shares of Tesla, you know? And so it's like, give people the opportunity to invest. And that's what Elon wants to do. That's why he also has voting shares. You know, Elon doesn't have this BS super class share structure that you get with all these other tech companies. And so he really runs the company for the benefit of his shareholders, and he's the biggest one. So, you know, good job to Elon. Good job to the Tesla team. You guys have been awesome and have executed on everything they've said they were going to do. And uh, I'm excited for the future. All right, Ross Gerber, thank you so much. President and CEO, Gerber Kawasaki Wealth and Investment Management. I enjoyed our conversation. I look forward to another one again soon. Thanks, yeah, Ross. Yeah, me too.